Okay, the last video on cell naming was interrupted, so here we go on auto naming, and I'm in the auto naming uh, tab. We have uh, a table here with some values in it, and then these are just labels or titles on each of the cells. So that's a work group and the work orders and so on. None of these cells here in the table are named. Um, you can see that they're just C2, 3, 4, 5, so on. I could name these things by hand by naming this one work groups and this one work orders and so on, but it's common in Excel to have a table uh, where titles or labels on the uh, columns or cells uh, are good candidates for names. So I'm going to have Excel create the names for me automatically. I'm going to select the table, including the set of labels here. Then I'm coming up to the formulas tab and I'm going to select create from selection. Now, the, the names I want to use for the names of the cells are on the left column, so I'm going to clear the top row and click on OK. Now, nothing seems to have changed, but if I click in this cell now, it's no longer C2, it's work underscore groups. Wherever there's a line break or a blank in a name, Excel will insert a uh, underscore because uh, blanks are not allowed in range cell names. So, work orders, priority, date, estimated hours, actual hours. Uh, here's another table. This one happens to be oriented vertically. I've got two columns, division here and assignments. So what I'm going to do is select the whole uh, table, including the headers up here, create from selection, clear the left column because I want to use the top row for names, and click on OK. Now, with these, each of these individual cells got the name, but here it's different. Because uh, there's a set of cells under the name, the name division applies to the whole list here. Um, and here, assignments, this name applies um, to this whole list of entries. The important part about it is I've got names very quickly uh, without having to do a lot of typing. And notice that this division name applies to the whole range. You almost never in a table like this in Excel need to give names to the individual cells. You just give it to the whole column like that. One other thing to point out is um, there is a um, name manager up here on the formulas tab and when you select it it shows you all the names that you're using in your workbook. This is handy if you want to delete a name that you're no longer using or for example if you misspelled a name you can come in here click on edit and simply change the spelling. The great thing about changing the spelling here is if I had used it in any formulas this will find all the formulas and will change the name there as well. So I can come up here and delete a name I don't want or I can edit the name to change it um, if I misspelled it or, or just want to change the name. This is very handy. Uh, one other thing is um, this is less useful but I want you to be aware of the feature. If you come up here um, you can here it is, paste the names. It's under use in formula. You can paste the names and what this will do uh, is if I select them all I can say uh, paste list and it will paste the whole set of names in my worksheet into um, my workbook at that point with the name of the uh, range and the uh, area that is actually pointing to in the worksheet. So that's how you create names automatically in Excel.